It's hard to think of a, an aspect of our lives that isn't affected by or touched by fresh water in one way or another. Uh, it's partly that reason why water is so important to people. people. People care much more about water than they care about a lot of other resource issues. There, there are plenty of resource issues that we worry about, but when, when you talk about water, there's a visceral sense of, uh, almost a spiritual sense of its importance to all of us. And I think that's because it's so important to all of us, because it touches on all aspects of our lives. We can provide clean water and sanitation for the world's people. Uh, we can grow enough food with less water to, to satisfy growing food demands. Uh, we can have a healthy economy and a healthy agricultural sector and use less water than we're using today. Uh, we can solve our water contamination problems. We know how. It's just not clear that we're going to make the commitment. There is no one solution to the world's water problems. There are no single silver bullet answers. And the sooner we understand that, and the sooner we, we adopt as many different diverse, flexible tools that are available to us, the better. We're not going to solve our water problems unless we take a comprehensive, integrated, soft approach that incorporates infrastructure and technology, but also thinks about proper use of economics and bringing communities into decision making and making sure that the ecosystems are, are part of the process. The, the future of water could be a, a happy future or a sad future. It could be a positive future or a negative future. And I don't know which future we're going toward. Uh, I do know that if we continue along the path we're moving, we're going to see more bad things. We're going to see more water-related diseases. We're going to see more and more competition for the limited water resources we have. We're going to see more and more contamination. But if we had a choice, we wouldn't move toward that future. And the, the good news is we have a choice. The good news is we can move toward a much more positive future for water if we simply think about what we want and then think about how to move in the right direction.